Omar Khan, the Steelers GM, has struck again. Breaking news here on Steelers Talk, where the Pittsburgh Steelers have traded Kendrick Green, the backup center, to the Houston Texans in exchange for a future sixth round pick. I'm going to be breaking down all the details and why this is an amazing trade by the con artist himself, Omar Khan, the Steelers GM. But before I do that, this is why you subscribe to the channel right here. When the Steelers make a move, we make a video. So if you want to stay up to date on everything that Omar Khan Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers are up to throughout the season, throughout the offseason. Steelers Talk is going to be your home, man. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button right now if you want to stay up to date with all the Steelers updates. All right, so the news was broken by Aaron Wilson here on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. And he says, Texans have acquired offensive lineman uh, Kendrick Green in a trade from the Steelers per a league source. Now, Kendrick Green, backup center. Uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers over the last couple of seasons. And listen, third round pick, somebody that definitely had a, a high expectations coming into the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. The Steelers are known for kind of developing offensive line talent. So they were hoping that Kendrick Green, a very athletic player, he's got all the physical tools to be a really good starting offensive lineman on the interior in the National Football League, but it just didn't work out. And in my opinion, at this point, he's probably one of the worst offensive linemen that are gonna that's going to be on a 53-man roster. It, during the preseason, he was whiffing on guys, like backup defensive tackles, letting guys go through the A-gap. He's just not a very good player, man. Plain and simple, and the experiment is finally over here with Omar Khan. And I said earlier this week, that if Omar Khan can get a seventh round pick for him, a conditional seventh round pick for Kendrick Green, it would be a good value for the Pittsburgh Steelers because Kendrick Green is just so dang bad. You're probably going to get rid of him anyway. It looked like they were probably going to cut him regardless. And now you're getting an additional sixth round pick in the 2025 NFL draft in exchange for somebody that's given you pretty much no value over the over the three years he's been here. So I think this is an absolutely incredible trade by Steelers GM Omar Khan here to get something for somebody that has given you nothing. So I think moving forward, this is absolutely fantastic. And it opens up some very interesting possibilities because the Steelers also cut their other backup center, Ryan McCollum, today during NFL roster cuts. Now let me know what you guys think about this trade down there in the comments section. Give me an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. Take advantage of that time by grading the Kendrick Green trade for me right now. For me, my grade, I am giving this an A+. Plus, I cannot believe Omar Khan found a sucker in the, in the Houston Texans to take Kendrick Green. He is awful at guard. He is awful at center. He had multiple uh, mistakes during the preseason where he couldn't even uh, get a clean transfer of the football to the quarterback. That's like as fundamental as it gets for a center in the National Football League, and he couldn't even do that right. And to get a sixth-round pick, not even a seventh-round pick, a sixth-round pick for this guy is just another one of these trades from Omar Khan that just seems like the Steelers are getting a, a, a way more value than you would probably think heading into the trade. If you had told me today that Kendrick Green was going to get traded and I would have to guess the compensation, I would probably go like a conditional seventh round pick. But to get a guaranteed sixth round pick in 2025 is an absolute steal for the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially because they are probably going to cut Kendrick Green anyways. Now, the big question for me that's on my mind is could the Pittsburgh Steelers sign somebody on the interior of the offensive line here before the start of the 2023 campaign. Because right now on the Steelers roster, there's really only two guys currently on the roster that can be a backup option on the interior of this offensive line. you got Spencer Anderson, and you've got Nate Herbig still on the roster. But the reason why people thought Kendrick Green might make this roster after the Kevin Dotson trade, of course, Omar Khan traded Dotson to the Los Angeles Rams for a couple of pick upgrades earlier this week. Now you're left with just two players uh, on your bench for interior offensive linemen. So there's definitely uh, something in the works here, I think. Omar Khan probably looking at some of the in interior offensive linemen that are getting cut, being put on waivers today. And then I think he's also looking to free agency. And I'll say this. 
Do not be surprised if Omar Khan ends up signing somebody to be the backup center for the Pittsburgh Steelers here in 2023. We might be having another breaking news video here on the channel when that happens. So if that happens, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications because we might be having more breaking news for the Pittsburgh Steelers today. But in terms of the free agency market and the guys that have, have some pretty good experience in the National Football League, Ben Jones is a center, formerly with the Tennessee Titans, started for them over the last couple of years, and he's been a very good starter in this league. I cannot believe Ben Jones is still available in free agency. Would he take a backup role? Probably not, so he's probably not the most realistic option, but a guy like Dalton Reisner maybe, uh, Roger Saffold, Gabe Jackson, guys that have played in this league before as starters as, as early as last year. Uh, you know, I, I think that this is something that Omar Khan is going to be looking at because it seems like, you know, with the Steelers talking about offensive line depth, defensive line depth, you know, really securing the trenches and being ready for potential injuries in those trenches, it seems to me like they're going to want to have three backups on the interior of the offensive line. But who knows? Maybe they think Nate Herbig and Spencer Anderson will be enough. Now, let me know what you guys think about this situation down there in the comments. Who, if anyone, should the Steelers sign to replace Kendrick Green as the backup center for the Pittsburgh Steelers? If you got some ideas, let me know down there in the comments section. And in some other Steelers news here, Zach Gentry, it has been reported that he is going to be released by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, this is a player that many people had projected to make the final 53-man roster. Of course, he played quite a bit as a blocking tight end for the Steelers last year and in previous years. I, I mean, big human being, right? 6'8", 265 pounds. He's a people mover, and that's why a lot. he's a fan favorite here in Pittsburgh. And unfortunately, he will no longer be uh, a tight end for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He will go elsewhere. I think he will get picked up somewhere. Maybe the Washington Commanders who need a tight end right now would be an option for Zach. But overall, it does suck to see him go. But however, with Zach Gentry going out the door here, that means that the Pittsburgh Steelers think Darnell Washington, the rookie out of Georgia, of course, the third round pick this year, uh, is ready to take on a starting role as the blocking tight end, the number one blocking tight end on this roster right now and Darnell apparently has impressed them as a receiver during training camp and preseason. Uh, so he's, he was a big winner this preseason in my opinion. I thought he had a really good training camp and I think the Steelers brass agrees with me because they're elevating here to take Zach Gentry's role and that is confirmed by Zach Gentry hitting the open market today for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Super excited to see Darnell Washington play in black and gold this year. I expect to see quite a bit from him this year. But if you want to thank Zach Gentry for his service to the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise here, type 81, his former number, uh, down there in the comments section to thank him for all the stuff that he's done with the Steelers here over the last couple of seasons. Now, that'll be it for today's show, guys. Really do appreciate the support, but make sure you click that subscribe button because not only are we going to be having uh, the official 53-man roster uh, uh, episode come out today, later today, but if they make a signing on the interior of the offensive line, we're going to have three videos on Steelers Talk today. So make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those notifications because when news breaks here throughout this week, we're going to have you covered with the video. You're not going to want to miss it. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button right now.